Tonight, a Rhode Island man is under arrest, accused in a hit and run in North Attleboro. But as police announced the arrest, they also revealed that one of the victims, 62 year old Paul Ray, has died. Today, the suspect appeared in court where he was charged with vehicular homicide. WBZ's Bill Shields spoke with the victim's family, who say they are just devastated. Still, we're real. still in shock, yeah. What do you say when a family member is suddenly taken away? 63 year old Paul Ray was strong and active. Then, a truck hit Paul and his girlfriend Joy as they were out for a walk Sunday. Paul didn't make it. I, there's no words. I, I can't even. I lost my husband five months ago, and now I've lost my brother. One day, he's going for a walk down the street on a beautiful Sunday afternoon, and out of nowhere, this you know this happens, and it's just a life that's taken way way too soon. Paul and Joy were walking on this quiet North Attleboro street. Police say this is the truck that hit them, and the driver, he took off. We're glad that this person is in custody because that is that is what needs to happen. It didn't take police long to find 31-year-old Tom Roy of Pawtucket. He was arraigned today and charged with vehicular homicide. Joy St. Hilaire was not seriously injured, but for Paul Ray's family, it's the memories they'll have to cherish. Paul is just was just such a kind and loving person. Paul is just was just um, just a family man, a loving man. To show you what kind of man Paul Ray was, what kind of family he came from, one of his nieces said today they were concerned with the suspect's family because they too have been shattered. In Attleboro, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. All right, Bill. Thank